Oh, Los Angeles, you're big, beautiful, crazy, exciting, and oh so expensive. But we're setting a personal challenge for ourselves to explore this big crazy city one neighborhood at a time with a budget of only $20 each to spend. And we want to answer this question. Can you truly experience and enjoy Los Angeles on a budget? We're kicking off this new Budget Los Angeles series here in beautiful Venice, California. I think this is gonna be a big challenge because $20 doesn't usually take you that far in neighborhoods like Venice, but we're excited about this challenge. We're ready, so let's get after it. So let's go over the rules. We each get $20 to spend today in Venice, California on whatever we'd like, food, drinks, experiences, but we're not gonna worry about factoring in for our total amount spent taxes, tips, or transportation costs. And if you're curious to see if we can stick to our budget, make sure to stick around to the end because we're gonna tally it all up. We wanted to kick off our day in Venice here in the canals. It's iconic. I mean, it's what the whole place is named after, these iconic Venice canals. Honestly, it's our first time being here. It's incredibly beautiful, and it's just so fun to walk around and take in all the sights, sounds, and honestly, the incredible range of architecture. The houses here are wildly different and amazing. You have to walk around and just soak it in, and for us, definitely work up an appetite. It's undeniable there are so many beautiful homes here in the Venice canals, but it looks like you can have your own little piece of Venice heaven. What do you think? Is it in your price range? Well, we've worked up a really big appetite walking around the Venice canals. It's so beautiful here. I think it's time to go grab some food. Stop number one. Got a hefty feel to it. <laughs> Stop number one on our budget Venice quest is a place called Flake. They're known for breakfast and lunch items. I walked up to the window not really knowing what to grab and the guy working there was super helpful and said, if I'm brand new, I should try the Crojo. Oh no, he said, if I'm brand new, I should try the Super Crojo. It's a croissant with eggs, tomato, lettuce, some spread and definitely some bacon. So let's go. First of all, that croissant is super flaky and soft, probably why it's called flake, but um, everything inside is so delicious. The fluffy eggs, the flavor, the seasoning of the sauce, the bacon. This is what brunchy dreams are made out of. Definitely recommend this. This was, I believe, $9.50. Definitely a budget eat, and they cut it in half so it's really splittable. Big thumbs up on this one. Hey, can I get a cheeseburger? Well, for my first item on the list today, we stopped at American Beauty. There's a place called The Window. It's like tucked inside in this courtyard area. It is clearly like a cheap eats mecca for people in the Venice area. I wanted to just get a single cheeseburger for $4.25. Off to a good start, not breaking the budget. Give this a try. This is a great classic smash patty. There's some pickles, grilled onions, some special sauce, cheese on a potato roll. Cannot go wrong with this. This is a really strong start for my 20 bucks today. I'm gonna try so hard to not break my budget. And if you're looking for a great burger, stop by the window. 
Isaac was nice enough to give me a bite of his burger. It's really tasty. But one thing that I can't help but notice is the community vibe here. There's this big open courtyard, and it's such an amazing gathering place. Cheap eats, but also awesome atmosphere. We're loving our day in Venice so far, but we're kind of curious, what LA neighborhood would you like to see us hit next for this $20 series? We're hoping to cover all of LA by a certain point, so let us know where we should go next. This is crazy good entertainment. You could watch this for hours and totally free. Stop number three on our epic budget day in Venice is for some coffee. And we heard the best spot to check out is Minotti, so we got a cold brew. Let's give it a taste. Man, that coffee has a great flavor, uh, really high quality. And with it being iced on a sunny day, this is just about the perfect thing. Minotti's, gotta check it out. Even though Venice is so exciting, there's tons of stuff to spend your money on. This is a really great place to be on a budget because there's so much to do and see that's free. You can walk over to the skate park, see the skaters, take in all of the really colorful street art, there's graffiti everywhere, and just do a ton of people watching. Like you can see people rollerblading, guys riding their longboards up and down the boardwalk, get a bunch of steps in. We love it over here. Yo, maybe I've been living under a rock, but I've literally never heard of table volleyball before. Have you? Well, we were really excited to continue this video and try to stay under budget, get some treats and snacks, have some fun. We came over to Abbott Kinney Boulevard where there's tons of incredible shopping. I really wanted to get some ice cream at Salt and Straw and the power is out everywhere. No stores are selling anything. All the traffic lights are out so they have policemen directing traffic and people crossing the street. It's like completely nuts. We're gonna have to push pause on this and then come back at a later date. Traffic! Don't have any sunglasses. Yikes. We're back. Take two. <laughs> Power's on, we're back. It's a couple days later, and I have some money to spend in my 20 bucks, so I think I'm gonna start off with some ice cream. Uh, I'll do a cup. Pots of golden rainbows and the peanut butter brownie. Well, I stopped by Salt and Straw to get some ice cream. I got a single split scoop, so I only spent seven bucks on this. It kind of is good to keep my, my train rolling for the $20 that I'm trying to spend. This month, it is the Seriously Delicious series. Every month they do like crazy, crazy flavors. If you're at all a fan of ice cream and at all a fan of like really dynamic, interesting ice cream, Definitely check out Salt and Straw. This is the pot of gold and rainbow ice cream. It has like that Lucky Charms flavor. It is so good. The second flavor I got is the uh, Peanut Butter Puffs Brownie. Like two years ago was the first time I ever went to Salt and Straw and they had a cereal flavor series that I was there for and they had this like Reese, I think it's like a Reese's Peanut Butter Puff cereal. And I've been chas chasing this flavor ever since. This is this uh, cereal puff, peanut butter puff brownie. Oh my God. Is it legit? It's so good. I mean, peanut butter and chocolate are so good together. And then you kind of combine that like kind of biscuity, cookie kind of cereal flavor with it. I don't know, let us know. Like, are you the kind of person who enjoys the milk at the bottom of the cereal? If you are, this would be 
the most amazing ice cream for you. So as an ice cream fan, is this a money well spent out of your $20 budget? Oh yeah, it's always good to uh, end with dessert. Really affordable way to get a delicious dessert for not too much money. And I can't think of a better place than Salt and Straw. If you're in Venice, you're on Abbot Kinney, this kind of like interesting area with all these expensive, bougie shops, you can still get some affordable ice cream. I'm lucky he would share with me. This is really good. But I just wanted to mention, Abbot Kinney is like a must visit if you're in the Venice area. It's this awesome like big commerce thoroughfare with kind of bougie shops and eating and drinking joints. But we've done our research and we did find some affordable spots. So yes, Salt and Straw is number one, but I think we've got another thing up our sleeves. to round out my $20 in Venice, California, trying to stick to that budget. I am getting a slice of pizza from Abbott Pizzeria. This looks so good. I got a mushroom slice, but they have everything. They have like different combinations of meats, veggies. They have a salad pizza that looks really good, only in California. And can't wait to try this mushroom pizza, but I am a, I'm like a Parmesan and red pepper person. So let me get this all set. Okay, let's try this out. Ooh. Mm. That thing's huge. The crust is so good, look at the bottom. Nice char on the crust, like really classic pizzeria. Mm. You know, living in California, living in Los Angeles, there's not many of these pizzeria places that you see on the East Coast, like in Jersey and New York, but this place is awesome. What's going on with the edge of the crust? It looks like it's almost like an everything bagel or something. Like sesame seeds, that's kind of unique, right? Yeah, it looks really good. I mean, sometimes like on a Sicilian pie, you might see some seeds underneath it. This looks really good. That's really nice. There's a little bit of Parmesan on the edge too. A little extra flavor, that's great. So uh, this $20, it's working out for you, huh? It is, although I think I might be out. I got that burger earlier. I got the ice cream, I got the pizza, kind of like an <laughs> unintentional all-American meal. And I might be out for I think you're bucks. just about that 20 bucks, yeah. Yeah. Pretty well done, though. Yeah. Little help yourself action. I was thinking about my $20 budget. I knew I spent like $9.50 at Flake on that amazing breakfast sandwich, and then another like $5 or $5.50 on that cold brew. So I realized I only have five bucks left, and I was thinking, what around Venice could I possibly get or enjoy for $5? And then I remembered we're in LA, we're in Los Angeles. This is a taco town. There are always decent to amazing street tacos somewhere nearby. So I did a little research and I found this place called El Primo Tacos and it has amazing reviews. It's here just outside the parking lot of the Ralphs on Lincoln Boulevard. It's got like the black tents above so you can't miss it. But I got myself a couple tacos and uh, to my delight, they are literally $2 each. So I was able to get two tacos and fit safely within my $20 budget. I got an Asada taco and an Al Pastor and it's really great you get to really customize with a full range of toppings. You got onions, cilantro, lime, radish, cucumber. You got a whole selection of different salsas. I went for salsa verde plus a little avocado salsa uh, for good measure. I'm gonna shut up and eat these though because they look and smell really good. Let's dig into the Al Pastor. These are your standard uh, small street tacos, but one thing about these at first glance, they are packed with meat. We love to see that. Cheers. Mmm. That Al Pastor is seasoning central. And it's really unique seasonings. Uh, they don't hold back anything. Very tasty. I did want to kick it up a notch with some lime. And then got to get the freshness. You know, before we moved to Los Angeles, I never knew you could do cucumbers, like fresh cucumber with tacos. It's become a thing for me in my life. Game changing, love it. So let's add that in. I think it's gonna be really good with all the freshness. Mm -hmm. 
Ain't nothing wrong with that. That is so good. For a $2 taco, <laughs> it's really good. Can't neglect the asada. Little lime, little radish on this one. Don't you guys love radishes on your tacos? I can't get enough of it. Almost like I have to pick it up at the right angle or I'm gonna have a little situation on my hands. I love a good challenge. Mmm, that asada meat is seasoned so well. And I noticed going down the line that they do that meat bath thing like Avenue 26 in the Arts District downtown where they really like almost bathe the meat in juice or like braise it. They do that and then they pop it on the, the hot grill top for a second, which crisps it up a little bit. This is amazing. Um, for $2 street tacos, and especially in a neighborhood like Venice, this is a godsend. You cannot go wrong. So write this down for your next trip to Venice. El Primo Tacos hits the mark, completely hits the mark. And a great deal. Well, I gotta say, I think that we did a great job today. It's kind of our first video in this budget series, spending $20 in a neighborhood of Los Angeles. Today we spent 20 bucks each in Venice, California, and we did a great job. We got a burger, we got a breakfast sandwich, we got a really nice coffee, a slice of pizza, ice cream, tacos. Am I missing anything? Oh, I think you're doing it. I think, I think that's everything. Yeah, and I think we both came in right at or just below our $20 budget. You can catch our actual totals in a second at the end of the video. But like Isaac said, we feel like we did pretty well for our first episode out, but we're gonna do tons of these. The plan is to make our way all around the greater Los Angeles area to get to know each neighborhood on a more intimate basis, to really dig in, find out what these different neighborhoods of LA are all about. So we hope you'll join us. If that sounds interesting or exciting or helpful to you, make sure you're subscribed. Join the family because we have a lot of great LA adventures on the way. And these six spots we hit were based on our initial research. If you think we missed any important cheap eat spots in Venice, put it in the comments below. Let us know what we missed. Well, thank you so much for joining us on this epic day in Venice on a budget. We hope you enjoyed it. And until we see you here next time, we just want to say cheers. Great success. Oh, Los Angeles. You're, ooh, that was a duck. <laughs> to rab, to rabbit.